everyone. Welcome to a, another episode of Banished Voices. Uh, today I'm going to be discussing the case of Brittany Hammond, um, mother of five. Uh, she went missing in Patriot, Indiana. Uh, she, Brittany leaves her home. Uh, she goes to, to go to the store. Uh, according to her sister, Samantha, after an on-again, off-again abusive relationship with her ex-boyfriend, Brittany begins staying with her children's grandmother. Uh, Brittany is a mother of five. After receiving a phone call, uh, and they're not sure who the phone call was from, uh, she left the house. And it was around 9 o'clock on December the 12th. She told her mom, hey, I'll be back in about an hour. Uh of course, multiple sources say that she did leave between 11 and 12 a.m. And her missing dates confirmed as December 13th of 2018. <clears throat> Brittany is... Uh, let me give you a rundown of what her sister, how her sister describes her. She's described as being shy, but uh, once you get to know her, she never stopped talking. She's a loving, caring, beautiful person. This is from her sister. At times, she struggled with substance use disorder, an outcome of suffering abuse as a child. Uh, she tried to help others. She cared deeply and always had the backs of those she loved. Brittany left home on December 12, 2018 to go to the store. She told her mother we'd be back around about an hour, but she never returned. She's a mother to five children, ages at the time of her disappearance, they were three, aged from three to eight. Uh, she has a Todd, has Todd, sorry, Todd tattooed on her lower left leg and stars of her kids' names on her right leg, uh, uh, Matthew and Isabella. She has her tongue and belly button pierced, and she may have been wearing a bracelet that is half heart that says daughter. She was last seen wearing a white jacket. Um, so on December the 12th or 13th, um, the date itself is not particularly confirmed. It just says the 12th or 13th. Uh, it's alleged that someone saw the mother of five get into an unidentified vehicle uh, but she couldn't make out, it was a friend of Brittany's, from my understanding. Uh, she couldn't make out the maker model of the car. And the identity of the witness are not, uh, it's not available to the public. According to NamUs, which is your uh, National Registry of Missing Persons, uh, she was last seen on Searcy Ridge Road in Switzerland County, uh, Indiana sources vary as to whether she was last seen on the 12th or the 18th, uh, 13th, but most sources do reference the 13th. Uh, give me just a second. I'm going to share my screen with you all, maybe with the map of so give me a second here, guys. Okay, give me a second here. I'm pulling the map up for you guys. So what we're gonna do here is, right here is Florence, Indiana. This is close to where she was last seen and source of multiple searches for her. Uh, let me find what I'm looking for here. Right here is uh, where she was last seen uh, on Searcy Ridge. And we've got, sorry, my, I'm going to have to scroll out here. We're in maybe. Just a second. And this is where the search for her started. 
as you can see, it's all kind of just west, kind of southwest a little bit of Cincinnati. Um, that kind of gives you an idea of, about where she was located. Um, and I'll share a picture of her with you guys in just a minute. Um, now, Texas Equal Search did do a search for Brittany. Uh, this nonprofit, they help law enforcement by missing people. Uh, very, very wonderful, wonderful group. They are always uh, stepping in, helping people when they're doing a search. Uh, they came in the entire Florence area uh, near where she was basically said she vanished. Then uh, on February the 20th, uh, that equals the Texas Equal Search came in on November, November the 2nd, 2019. Uh, February the 28th of 2020, uh, there's a public search for her, but there's nothing basically that says whether or not she, uh, anything was turned up on that, I'm sorry. Um, let me get, there's not a whole lot of information on Brittany, uh, except for what we know now. Uh, at this point, this case is still unsolved. And I'm going to, give me a second here, I want to pull up a picture of Brittany for you. Um, and some different things for Brittany. Okay, give me a second. My computer's running a little slow. I don't know what the heck. All right. Sorry, guys. To clip back and forth between a couple different screens so I can uh, pull up what I'm trying to pull up for you guys. So I want to make sure. Here we go. That's what I want to share. Right here. Switzerland County, Brittany Hammond. She was 30 years old, last seen December the 12th, 2018, Switzerland County. Brittany left home around 11 p.m. Mom says nine. The reports are saying uh, around 11 p.m. Uh, so I'm not quite sure. But here's another picture of Brittany. Some more pictures. And there's another picture. So. Sorry, guys. Um, there's, like I said, there's not a whole lot of information on Brittany at this point. Uh, just... It's a cold case. Uh, and like I said, if anybody knows anything, if anybody suspects anything, they remember seeing Brittany. If they have seen Brittany, heard anything, uh, please contact uh, local law enforcement for that area. And I'm going to try to find, uh, they have a Facebook page set up for her, help find uh, missing Brittany Hammond. And I will, uh, she saying, okay, if you have any information, please contact Switzerland County Sheriff's Office at 812-427-3636 or 3636. you can also call the We Help the Missing tip line at 1-866-660-4025. And on her page, there's quite a bit uh, of different information. Uh, and I'll make sure to share that. I'll share that with you guys in the description uh, of the video. But like I said, there's not a whole lot <clears throat> that we know for Brittany right now. Uh, 
but anything anybody can do to help, please, please don't hesitate to call or do something. Uh, the family just needs answers, and that's why I do all these cases, because the families do need answers. They want closure. Uh, all these cases are, are important. It's hard. <laughs> I have a hard time going through these and trying to pick exactly which case should I should I cover because they're all important or all missing. Um, and like I said, there's not one case that's more important than the other. Uh, at least, you know, in the eyes of the family, any family, I mean, put yourself in their shoes. Uh, please, if you like these videos, you want to keep seeing more and more of my <clears throat> Vanish Voices episodes, uh, hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, that'll be right up here. Hit that notification bell so you know when I put in more videos. And uh, my plan right now is to try to do a live every, either probably every Saturday after around 5, 5.30ish, depending on what's going on for the day. Uh, but that is my intent so far. Uh, I will be doing a really, really, really deep dive in the coming weeks of the Audrey Cunningham case. So stay tuned for that one. Um, I have a lot of factual information that I will be sharing with you guys. I know everybody's probably following the, all the Facebook pages and everything for her as well. Uh, just know that when I do my deep dive for her case, it will be all the factual evidence uh, that we have at this time. So right now, the big important thing for this video is Brittany. Let's try to help get this family some answers. Y'all have a great day and thank you so much for watching.